there, this is Ben for Kit Guru, and today we're looking at the S880 DB Active Speakers from Edifier. A beautiful pair of bookshelf speakers with a huge number of inputs and high res audio certification. Let's take a look at all the features on offer today. Out of the box, we have one active and one passive speaker, an optical audio cable, RCA to 3.5mm cable, RCA to RCA cable, speaker connection cable. USB cable, power cable, and a circular remote control. This speaker set is not just designed to look and sound great, with its stylish wooden exterior, smooth overall finish, and vast dynamic range, but to also have practical features like Bluetooth, the range of which covered the entirety of my house uninterrupted. But your mileage may vary. The right speaker, identified by the display and infrared sensor on the front, contains a built-in amplifier and all the connectors you could ever need for audio input. Control knobs to adjust treble and bass levels, as well as a manual input selection knob that doubles up as a volume control, all have nice smooth movement. Input selection is made by clicking the knob in, and volume by turning left and right. When trying out these speakers, I left them in their factory default before adjusting them to my liking, which was to keep the treble in place and to reduce the bass slightly. In addition to these, there is an infrared remote control that allows you to change EQ modes, volume, audio source, and standard audio controls for connected Bluetooth devices. The left speaker, the one with the Edifier logo, is passive and accepts the audio signal from an output on the back of the right speaker. The cable used to connect these together is very well reinforced and durable. This is Edifier's first speaker set to be high-res audio certified. Hi-Res Audio describes a digital audio file that is better than CD quality. Due to compression, CD and other digital formats are downsampled, which means that the number of samples is reduced from the original recordings, which equals a loss in quality. Think of samples like megapixels on a camera. The less megapixels there are, the less defined the image would be. It's the same with audio. The less samples there are, the less defined the audio will be. This is something that has gradually improved with time. The S880DB speakers are able to play these higher sampled files that give a much closer representation of the quality and clarity of the original recordings. More information can be found in the Kit Guru article linked below. The top half of the speaker contains a titanium laminate tweeter 19mm in diameter, providing bright mid-high to high range audio, whilst on the bottom half, there is a 3.75 inch metal diaphragm bass unit, bringing on punchy bass and strong mid-range tones, without the vibrations that normally accompany these features. Even with a hand rested on the speaker while it was rather loud and playing a bass driven song, I couldn't feel any vibrations. When testing the speakers, I tried it both directly inputted from my PC and mobile phone, as well as with my microphone preamp, which is a Presonus Audio Box i1. I was able to get a great volume without signs of distortion on playback. There are four preset EQ modes. Monitor is meant to reproduce original and accurate sound, almost like a pass-through of the original audio. Classic mode reproduces a classic hi-fi sound with a lot of warmth and familiar tonal quality. Vocal mode highlights the vocals in the song and adds brightness to instrumental and orchestral pieces. Dynamic mode boosts the dynamic range of the audio, adding a lot of volume and depth to the output. I would love to be able to demonstrate the different EQ settings or audio in general from these speakers, but it would be an unfair, inaccurate representation of what these speakers are capable of due to audio compression and the difference between recorded versus the live sound in person. So I shall try my best to describe my experience with these speakers. The range and quality of the speakers is immense, especially in comparison with my previous speakers. Not only was I able to hear the massive dynamic range, but could clearly hear that there was no muddiness to any of the mid-range frequencies, with low and high frequencies also performing well. Even at such a compact size, the speakers could easily fill the room with sound, whilst carrying the clarity of the audio as well. Even when I was playing back audio from recordings 70 plus years old, under presets like Dynamic and Classic, the original warmth of the recordings was really brought to life. I could easily see these speakers being used as audio monitors or for production work in general. As the monitor EQ mode, 
works well in creating a clear, accurate sound that is perfect for not only hearing your original recordings, but also any adjustments you make while editing. Overall, I can't find anything that I don't love about these speakers from how they look, sound, everything. Having the built-in amplifier is a huge boost for saving space, and there is only the tiniest amount of background hiss when switched on, even at loud volumes. It's the ultimate merge between consumer convenience and audiophile features, easily appealing to anyone looking for a fantastic new set of speakers for a price that seems very reasonable for all the features and potential uses on offer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and subscribe for more reviews and tech news. Connect with us on social media. Don't forget to click the KitGuru link in the description below, and we'll see you next time.